Hey 30 Day Challengers, Michelle McPherson here once again to help you build the link popularity of your site by getting links from other sites that point to your site. And the site that we're going to be getting a link from today is WordPress.com. Not to be confused with your own WordPress Direct blog, they're different. Now WordPress.com is a little picky sometimes in the kinds of things that they allow you to post on their site. In particular, they really don't like any kind of commercial postings. And by that, they don't want something that is super salesy or that is just screaming, you know, click me, click me, go to my site. So instead, with your 300 word or more article that you're going to post on WordPress.com, I want you to pay special attention to creating an article that is truly informative to the reader and that they can walk away from having learned something. Hopefully, when they walk away from WordPress.com, they'll click through to your site. Now, your article, just like always, needs to have your main theme keyword phrase in the article, and that main theme keyword phrase should be linked to your site. So let's go over to WordPress.com, and I'll show you how it's done. This is WordPress.com, and we're going to click on the Sign Up Now button to create an account at WordPress.com. Now, the username that we're going to use is going to be our main theme keyword phrase because this is also going to be used in the URL of your blog. So go ahead and enter in your main theme keyword phrase and fill out the rest of the information with your desired password, your email address, and agree to the terms of service. If the username that you want isn't available, then you can go ahead and add something to the end. Like for me, I might add now or I might add blog or info or something like that. And once you've done that, you make sure that you want give me a blog so that you get a blog. That's where we're going to be posting our article and then go ahead and click the next button. Now WordPress will check with you to make sure that it has the URL that you want and you want your main theme keyword to be your URL. And if that is not available, then again, like I said, add a suffix to the end of it. Now the title is going to be your main theme keyword. And you select the language that you'll be blogging in. And yes, of course, we want our blog to appear in the search engines. And then go ahead and click sign up. You'll be brought to a page where you are told to check your email to complete your registration. So you need to go to your email address that you gave them and find the email from wordpress.com. So let's go there now. Here's my email from wordpress.com and they want me to activate by clicking the link. So I'm going to click the link and activate my blog. Once you've clicked that confirmation link, your blog is active. So we can log in now and create our post. Click the link to go to your blog. And from there, there will be a login link. And I want you to click that also. And then you're going to log into your blog with the username and password that you created when you signed up for your account. And then click login. The first thing that we want to do in our new blog is go over here to posts and click add new. And we're going to take our article and paste it in. So here's my article over in Google Docs and I already have my link pointing back to my uh, blog using my main theme keyword as the link. And I'm going to copy that post and paste it into my WordPress blog. There it goes. We just want to make sure that our link came through and it looks like it did. Uh, I used some bullet points in here and sometimes bullet points don't go through the way that they should when we're copying and pasting. So I'm going to correct any errors with bullets or with extra paragraph breaks. And once your article looks good, you need to give it a title. And of course your title is going to be your main theme keyword. We need to give it tags. And our tag is going to be our main theme keyword. And a category should also be our main theme keyword. And then add that category. Check it off and make sure that we've added our tag. Everything looks good there so we can go ahead and publish our post now. And then we can take a look at it on our actual site. My post looks good. The only problem here is that we've got a hello world post, which they put in there automatically. We want to take that out. The other thing that we want to do is get rid of these links here and get rid of the uncategorized category since we're not using that. So let's go over to our blog and change those things. We need to go to posts and then edit. And from there, we're going to delete that hello world post. 
So we can just hover below the title of it and click delete and then click OK. And then if we go back on over to our blog and refresh the page, we'll be able to see that that Hello World post is gone. And because that Hello World post was in the uncategorized category, that category is gone as well. There's our tag. Everything looks lovely. Our link is good. So now let's actually change the look of the site. This is the default WordPress theme and it isn't very attractive. And one of the things that kind of can flag a blog for being a spam blog is if it uses that default WordPress theme. If somebody doesn't even care enough to change the theme of their blog, it uh, may be thought that they don't really care too much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this theme. You can pick any of them from the appearance themes section of your dashboard. And then let's refresh and we'll have a look at our new blog. That looks very nice. I like it. And finally, we want to get rid of the links on the side. So we'll go over to links, edit, and we can delete these two links. We'll go bulk actions, delete, and then apply, confirm that. And then we want to add a new link to our own site by clicking add new. The name of course should be your main theme keyword and the web address will be your URL and the description should be your main theme keyword as well. The category, go ahead and leave it in the blog role category and all this stuff we don't need to worry about and you just click add link on the right hand side. We'll go over here one more time, refresh it and there the link to our site is live. And again, you can pick any theme that you want that'll fit within your niche. And once you're done with this, you go ahead and add this blog URL to traffic bug and rank tracker so that you know where it ends up in the engines. Once you've added your new WordPress blog URL to Rank Tracker and Traffic Bug, you're done with WordPress.com for the day. Visit 30daychallenge.com for the rest of the 30 Day Challenge videos. This is Michelle McPherson. Thank you so much. Bye bye.